Now we're going to look at finding points in two dimensions. So this works very similar to distance. We just work separately in X and Y. In fact, it's easier than distance because distance you do separate in X and Y and then you have to combine it. For this particular case, we can actually just work separately because we're just trying to find a point and not an actual distance. So in this example, I want to find a point three-fourths of the way from negative one comma five to seven comma one. There's my formula for the x direction and I can see, let's go ahead and highlight what I know. I know negative one is x of b, my beginning point, and I'm going to substitute that in and then the seven comes from this other x value here and there's my three-fourths goes right there. That's my fraction. So negative one plus three-fourths times eight because seven minus negative one is seven plus one and three-fourths times eight is six. Negative one plus six is five. So my x-coordinate is five. I still have to go find the y-coordinate. Same formula and here now I'm just going to use the beginning point for y is five. So you can see the five is here and here. The ending point for y is one. So there it is. And my fraction did not change. It's three-fourths. So Negative, a one minus five is negative four. Go ahead and multiply that out and I'm going to get five minus three or two. So my coordinates are five comma two. Now sometimes you'll be expected to find a beginning or an end point when I give you the part way point and one of the other two. Also I'll need to tell you the fraction. So one of the important things for you to do is go ahead and set up the equation like before. And it's very, very, it's even more important to substitute correctly in these problems. Even if the variable you're substituting is in, is in the left side of the equation. Some of you don't want to put numbers on the left side. Well, that's why we need the equal sign. So here's our example. H, um, with point H, negative two comma three is two fifths of the way from G, which is negative four comma seven to point J. So this is going to be my beginning because that's where I'm going from. And I want to find the coordinates of my ending point J. So you write down the formula. And what do we know? I've got negative two, that's a beginning point. I mean, sorry, that's my partway point. So that's why it goes on the left. My beginning point is negative four, so it's going to go here and here. Two fifths is my fraction, so it goes there. Substituting in, all right, so negative two equals negative four plus two fifths times x of e minus a negative four. So you're used to your unknown, what you're looking for being over here. But in, there are many instances where it's going to be mixed in. So right now I'm going to go ahead and make this simpler. I'm going to add four to both sides. What I'm going to try and do is get this by itself. So first of all, I'm going to get move the things that are the furthest away. Adding 40 both sides, I get 2 equals 2 fifths x of e plus 4. Now I'm going to look at this 2 fifths. If I, if any time you have a fraction, if you multiply by the reciprocal, those simplify. The 5 and the 5 simplify to 1, and the 2 and the 2 simplify to 1. This 2 and that 2 also simplify, so my answer is 5 on the left side. So there you go, 5 equals x of e plus 4. Then I subtract 4 from both sides. So the end point, the coordinate for j is 1. Now we have to do this all for y. So same thing, similar formula. There's my beginning and end and beginning. All right, this is my partway point for the y coordinate. So that's going to go here. Then I have the beginning point for the y coordinate. So that goes here and here. I know the fraction that goes there. I'm looking for this. Substituting in, I have three equals seven plus two fifths times my y endpoint minus seven. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Subtract seven from both sides. Three minus seven is negative four. So I have this. I'm going to use a reciprocal of that two fifths again and multiply both sides by it. So the fives simplify and the two simplify. Now this one, what you could do is you could just put a one underneath it. 
and so you'd have negative 20 over 2, or you could also simplify it to negative 2 over 1. They both work out and they give you negative 10. This side, those all simplify, so I just have y e minus 7. Add 7 to both sides and my y coordinate is negative 3. So my answer is 1 comma negative 3. So you do the individual practice on your own, same way you're going to have to do x coordinate first, y coordinate second. So how do you think we would do problems in this case in three dimensions if we had a z coordinate? And how are you checking your work to make sure your answer is reasonable? So if I were to go back to my answer here is negative 2 needs to be bet um, between negative 4 and 1, and it is, so at least I'm on the right side. 3 needs to be between 7 and negative 3, and it is.